In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make tassels out of salt and pepper shakers. You can either use old ones or new ones. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. This is going to be a two-part video. In my next video, I will be showing you how to make the tassel portion of your salt and pepper shaker tassel. I didn't have all the supplies I needed to complete this project, so I'm headed to Michael's. I've got my coffee, my Michael's coupon, and I didn't have the wire that I needed to, for the salt shaker, so you can get any color you want. I got a couple of different colors. You're not going to see much of the wire. And you need to get either 24 or 26 gauge because you want something small enough to go through the holes of the salt shakers. And I even found these colorful ones. And I got a little inspiration when I got here and I found these things. These are all in the jewelry department, by the way. I thought these might be fun to top off on some of them. I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe top it with a little bead. I've never done it with a bead before, but I thought these were really pretty. And I thought that might be fun to do. And everything is falling out of my basket. Okay, I'm gonna go check out and go back and finish. Not there again, it's a 24 gauge. These holes on this one that I'm going to do happen to be pretty big, So, but a lot of times these older salt shakers have very tiny holes. But this should go through most any of them. I don't think there's many that are much smaller than the 24 gauge wire. So what you're going to do is take this wire and make a little twisty loop at the top, something to run your ribbon or string or whatever it is you're going to use to hang your tassel with. I found these little joy cat things. They look kind of like a snowflake, so I thought that would be really pretty to put on top of his hat and then put a little bead on top of that. That's these. Okay, so I finally got it through the little hole of the bead. There's other holes, it's kind of a filigree bead, so there's a lot of holes. So it was hard to find the exact hole to get it through. So now we have the little cap piece and then the bead. Ah, a lot better. Okay, now the other side. Almost. This, by the way, is not really a vintage salt shaker like most of my others, but I wanted to do kind of a Christmas ornament tassel, so I picked these up a few years ago and thought, you know, these will be make a cute Christmas tassel ornament. Okay, so there you have your top piece on. I think it looks so cute, it's like a snowflake fell on his hat. Okay, now what you're going to do here is you want your wire to be all the way through so that it won't have a chance of pulling from the top of this hat. Okay, so I ran some glue all the way around as you can see and I'm putting the little rubber stopper back in. And that will hold your wire in, whether it's a cork, a little rubber stopper. If the cork you have crumbles, you can actually buy these little stoppers and little corks at the craft store. Just as long as you have something glued over the bottom to hold this wire to keep it from pulling out, like I said, from the top. And then you just trim off the extra wire. And you're gonna add your tassel to the bottom. So I'll be gluing that on. Okay, so I took some string and wrapped around this part several times just to give it a, a little more finish look. You don't have to do that. I just wanted to do it for this one. You can see where the glue is, where I attached it. I just put a whole bunch of glue on the bottom and just pressed it on there and held it till it dried, which doesn't take very long with this glue. You can use any kind of trim that you want to go around here to hide where you attached it. So I thought it'd be pretty to use this kind of sparkly, shimmery trim. So it will look like that. Okay. And there you have it. So now 
I'm going to put a little ribbon or string or something through the top and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Here he is, all finished. And I actually added a little bit of the same trim around here too, just to make it a little more festive. And here's the ribbon I added to the top. So there's your salt shaker tassel. Isn't he cute? Vintage Santa ornament. He would be a cute ornament even without the tassel. Put a little bead on top of him too. Thank you for watching my video today on how to make tassels out of salt and pepper shakers. Be sure and watch my next video and I will show you how to make your own tassels out of scrap fabric or yarn without having to purchase fringe or ready-made tassels.